Hey y'all, I'm working on some ideas for my next quilt and I think I got, I think I got it figured out. I'm going to do a half square, a half log cabin square, but on the healthy side. It's not going to be no small ones, it's going to be bigger ones. Um, I dug through my stash and was able to find some of these other ones are a little different colored. I would prefer to have all of them like this, but. Beggars can't be choosers now, can we? But I'm going to take five inch squares and I've got um uh, a fat quarter that I need to cut one more or, or five more because i got 15 here. And what I'm going to do is take, because um, this one, white was, white would not have worked on this. But I have a very healthy Southwestern print jelly roll. I mean, look at her. She's healthy. She's been eating them cheeseburgers. Um, and I want to use that to make the, oh, she's a dirty girl, um, to make the ha half blocks. Now in crochet, they're called uh, miter squares, but in quilting, that's not the answer. Because all it's gonna do is go from here and here and you build up on this side you don't go all the way around so that's why I want to go with these bigger squares these are five inch squares and I want to just go all the way and make big blocks um, instead of these little blocks I, I, I'm not a fan of little intricate shit I just want to slap it together and be big large and in charge like I am no I'm not in charge I don't have a heck clue what I'm doing most days so I also have this other little one that I think I am going to use white squares with it and make the same uh, block and use white with it because I have I have leftovers um, and then cut these down into blocks and then I also I need to figure out what to do with a fat quarter because I have a fat quarters here but I don't know what to do with them so I really want to do something there but anyway yeah all my stuff is put in these these shoe boxes because of the dust this is what they are all of this is is shoe boxes um we have a serious dust issue so all of that gets put in there so it's a mess back here but i need to get a plastic i think at this point i'm just going to get a tote and turn it upside down and put it on top of my machine so that way it'll keep out the dust um because i don't have a machine cover and i really need to do something and i don't like the fabric ones i just don't so i'm thinking a tote would be the best way to go with that so but anyway that's what i'm going to start working on not today though um i've got to get some other stuff done but uh and I still haven't bought the sheet for the Texas quilt. But I had a... It wasn't even my idea. Somebody else had said the idea. And I thought, well, you know, that's a cruel idea. Um, when I was working on the blocks, somebody had said... Oh, hold on. Let me clear this mess. You know what? Forget it. I don't have... I, I'll never clear mess. But somebody had said, when I was doing the embroidery idea, to trace a texas on this and embroider it that away and i was like no i'll just go with my machine and because i'm scared to mess things up but i'm going to do a practice swatch and i'm going to trace a texas and embroider it and see how well i do because if i do i am thinking instead of doing tying five on here when i put the quilt together to go ahead and embroidery the Texas with the quilt sandwich. Does that make sense? Like it's going to have the quilt sandwich. It's going to have the top, the middle, and the back. And instead of tying knots like a checkerboard pattern, I could do a Texas pattern. And then it will be embroidered on the top and the back. Now it would take a shit ton of years to get that done with each of these squares. But I think if I can pull it off, it would look gorgeous. 
I really think that's what it would need. And then maybe do some tying in the middle, you know, right here on these pieces. But um, I'm going to, I got to do a practice swatch before I commit to that. But y'all have come up with some really great ideas for this. And uh, I think I'm going to take that idea and run with it. And I'm sorry I can't remember your name or who said that because, you know, my brain is an idiot. So whatever. But I think that's what I'm going to try to do is find, print out a, a outline of State of Texas and then put it on here and try to get as big as I can. And then that way I can use DMC embroidery floss and I could be able to do it with any color. So I want to stay with red and blue, but I, I'll be able to have embroidery floss that's really thick and I can make it beautiful like that. So that's the idea. Um, so anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, thank you for uh, the comments and the ideas. I really do appreciate it. Um, y'all are so creative. And one day I will have creative bones too. And uh, just thank you for all the positivity. I, it means a lot to me. It really does. Because right now I'm in a hard time. And it doesn't seem like it. But it's I'm having a tough time. And I just got to keep going. But uh, y'all have really, really helped me with that. And I cannot tell you how much I appreciate y'all. And all your love and the support. It means the world. And I thank you for that. So y'all have a great day. Happy Father's Day to all the guys out there. Bye.